Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you how to use and what's inside of the gradient toolbox. And yeah, let's start. So first of all, you can use the toolbox with Photoshop. So we have PSD files, uh, 48 one, um, 48 files with uh, different gradient arrangements. You will be able to change every color and also the gradient, uh, the grain amount. And then we have pre-made JPEG um, files with gradients, um, 48 of them. Um, these are basically made out of the PSD files. If you just need real quick some um, gradients, you can grab them from here. And then we have um, transparent background, single um, faded color overlays. When you put them on top of each other, you will receive a gradient kind of look and you will be able to change each color. Um, these are also included as PNG files and PSD files because um, you will be able to use them in different um, programs besides Photoshop. So this is the only reason. So in case you don't have Photoshop, you can simply take these PNG files and uh, create your own gradients without using Photoshop. So this is the reason for these different um, file formats and we will have them as PNGs in a kind of grainy look and then we have uh, the same ones with more grain so to speak. And of course, the blobs you can see in the preview images, these are included with um, PNG transparent backgrounds. So here we go. You will be able, of course, to change every color. I will show you in a minute how to make this. So let's start with the PSD files. I will simply open a random one. Doesn't matter which one because you can change the whole color setting and the grain setup, let's take this one, simply open it inside of Photoshop and now you will already see it has um, five different colors or five different options for colors, so to speak, and a grain option. So double click on this um, color section here and simply choose any color you want it's really up to you. You can also um, turn this off or another one. It's really up to you. It's pre-made, high resolution and ready to export. So these, um, all these PSD files look different, of course. So you have, <laughs> I don't know, endless possibilities with this whole thing. And what I would also recommend is to maybe sometimes play with the blend modes, but just like next level. So it's really up to you. You can um, play with the blend modes and look what kind of um, yeah thing you can achieve with them. So as you can see, when you use like hard mix or for example, um, what was it? Linear, uh, lighter color, you will get these uh, kind of borders. Quite interesting, so experiment a bit, take your time and find cool solutions for this. It's really up to you. So I will leave it at normal and I will show you now how to use the grain layer. So this is the grain layer. When you remove it, it's really soft and clean without any grain or without, without a lot of grain. And I will turn it back on. And then when I want to add a bit more or a bit less grain, I simply double click, double click on this and adjust it. You can instantly see what's going on in the background. So simply move the small um, arrow and adjust it to the amount of grain you want to have. 
so I will leave it like I've made it in the um, default setting and that's basically it now you can export it or save it as JPEG or whatever file format you need it's really easy and if you need a transparent background uh, file you can of course remove the background here I would remove, remove the grain too and then you have this area of course transparent and then you can save it as a PNG in case you need it it's really up to you so I will bring this back close it now don't save it because I don't need it at the moment and now I will show you how to use the PNG files and how to change the color um, you will be able to make the same effect inside of um, Procreate for example or I think you will be also able to use the same um, technique inside of Affinity um, Photo but I'm not sure so um, yeah I don't use uh, the uh, Affinity program so maybe you know it better leave me a comment if um, there's some difference inside so I will simply drag one of the gradient settings I have here to my Photoshop or in another case to Procreate or whatever program you use and choose another one and also put it inside and give it a third one and here we go so um, you can of course leave the background like it is it's transparent at the moment or you can add a white background to see a bit better what you are doing and then simply do the following go to um, this FX um, section and go to color overlay and then simply choose your color you want to um, tint your um, gradient area to um, just keep in mind to have this set to normal because this is often set to uh, lighten or darken so set this to normal and 100% opacity and then you can do the same with the other ones another technique which you will probably do inside of um, Procreate for example is I will remove this for now is a clipping mask so I will add a layer with a color above the uh, gradient section layer and then simply in Photoshop with Option Hold I will make a clipping mask. You will make a clipping mask of course in, a, in another way on Procreate but I guess if you already use Procreate you will know how to make it. So otherwise um, I think Procreate has a lot of uh, tutorials on their Instagram so it should be quite easy. Um, I think the same is, is possible inside of Affinity but I'm really not sure but it should be because this is like the easiest way to, to tint or to color a section. So you can do the same with everything else you have in here of course you could also add images as a clipping mask let's take this one as a solid color and here we go maybe change the background so this doesn't look really really nice so remove this color maybe set this to another blend mode what do we have here make the color oh. I don't know you can experiment as you like so um, it's really up to you what you can also do is which is quite cool I tried it on my Instagram so you can send these files to your phone and when you make a story you can simply um, put it on top of your story uh, I use iPhone so I don't know how it's in, on Android um, uh, phones but on iPhone you can 
put it on top of your story if, in, if you want to add some color on top. And yeah, the same is with the blocks, by the way. <laughs> so you can simply add them on top and then use the color overlay option. Or you can also use the gradient overlay, which is also interesting. So there you will get a gradient kind of look. Here we go and so on. So it's really up to you, experiment a bit. And then we have um, a grain layer, SPNG. So this is basically for um, Procreate as a quick drag and drop option, or you can of course use it also inside of Photoshop. Simply drag and drop it, put it on top of your image or of your um, artwork, and then set the blend mode to soft light. So here we go. Now you can see it's basically the same as the one in the PSD files, but you cannot change the grain. If you want to add more grain on top, you can of course go to filter, noise, add noise, and then add a bit more noise. You won't see it in here because the color is too similar, but you get the technique I think. Let's change this to another color to maybe see a bit more. Yeah, you can now see the grain. Turn it on off. Here we go. So same here, export it as a JPEG, PNG, whatever you want. <laughs> so all the files are 300 dpi and high resolution. So you should be able to use them for print too, I guess, but they are of course RGB, so keep this in mind. And yeah, this is just a quick and fun set. I thought I will um, offer this in the shop because, I don't know, the gradient trend is still ongoing, so I thought, why not add this small and fun thing? Because I sometimes uh, struggle myself to come up with color combinations and it's somehow cool to see it directly and to don't have the struggle to make this whole thing like smooth because you get like so no let me just <laughs> let me explain this in a different way so when you make I will show you what I mean when you make for example something like this here let's make a solid color in black and then paint with a white pencil on top. You will get these, I don't know how to call it, but you will get these small lines you can see over there. So this is the issue. This happens um, when you paint too many soft layers on top of each other, too many soft uh, brushes on top of each other. And when you use a too intense Gaussian blur. So yeah, I wanted to prevent you from the struggle to deal with these lines. So all the shapes you use don't have this issue. So this is the main thing of this whole set. So if you remove this you can see there is no line at all. Everything is grainy and smooth. No issues in here. So just one more to demonstrate. There's no, uh, no nothing of these strange line overlays things so you don't need to do it. And this will save a lot of time, I hope. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this collection. And if you have any questions, um, please feel free to ask and have fun.